YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this really delicious, super easy strawberry compote. And you're going to ask, what is a compote? I don't know. It's like a it's like a it's similar to a jam, but you're not going to cook it as long as a jam. But you can use it like you would use a strawberry jam, but this is like way easier than making jam and it cooks actually really pretty quickly. What you will need for this recipe is uh, sliced up strawberries. You're also going to want to zest a lemon and I just zested the lemon right over top of the fruit. Half a cup of sugar and over here in this uh, measuring cup I have the juice of half of a lemon mixed with a half a cup of water and a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. And I find that if you put the cornstarch into the, um, the liquid and dissolve it there before you add it to the strawberries, it cooks up much better. So all we're going to do is we're going to put all of this stuff into that pan and bring it up to a low boil and just let it thicken and that's pretty much it. So uh, let's get cooking. So you can see that the strawberries are nicely, um, they've been hauled and I've cut them into like quarters and they don't have to be like little small chops um, because they're going to cook down. So we're just going to put them in the bowl. And then I'm going to add the sugar and then we're going to turn on the heat and I'm going to do it on like a medium low okay. and then really make sure that your cornstarch is well dissolved <clears throat> you really want to be um, make sure this is done because if you don't have your cornstarch dissolved you'll get you'll get a lump of cornstarch in your uh, strawberries and it's not that good. That's it. We're just going to um, let it come up to heat and uh, just let it cook. I'll show you what it looks like. So yeah, it doesn't look like much at this point, uh, but that's okay. Through the magic of adding a little heat, that's going to cook down and be absolutely beautiful. You can see it's starting to bubble. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, stir the strawberries around and just try to break them up a little bit. And you know, basically they will soften as they cook. And we're going to do this for about 10 minutes. And at the end of 10 minutes, uh, it should be ready to go. So this is on a simmer and you know that because it's just like that big rolling boil, just that gentle bubbling that tells you it's simmering and that's what we're looking for. But you do want to keep stirring and moving your strawberries around because they'll stick and you don't want them to stick. And that's why these flat bottom wooden spoons are so nice. Okay, this is about five minutes in and we're just going to go another five minutes and I think it'll be ready. All right, it's been 10 minutes and I've pulled it off the heat and uh, you can see the strawberries have really cooked down. We have this really pretty sauce. I call it a sauce. It's like a strawberry sauce. And what will happen is as the mixture cools, it will thicken and just get better and better. You do want to keep it refrigerated and you can use this in all kinds of different recipes. Um, I'll be sharing some more with you, some ideas of how to use this coming up. So stay tuned for that. But gosh, you could just put it right on your ice cream if you like. Uh, it would be great on that. Uh, spoon it over top of cheesecake. Um, I'm going to be making a strawberry bread and I'm going to use uh, this as opposed to just uh, raw strawberries. I think it's going to cook up a lot better that way. 
so stay tuned for that. And what else can I tell you? You do want to keep it refrigerated. You're going to want to have it in a tightly sealing um, type of storage container. And I have a really cute uh, jar that I got. It's, called, it's from Ball, which they do all of the canning jars. And the little jar that I have is so cute. I'll show it to you. And I have been keeping my strawberry compote in that and it looks pretty and it's easy to use, but any storage container will work. You can even use like a plastic um, Tupperware type of thing. That would be fine. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it into the container. So you can see I have this little jar and this just flips over the top and then it seals and I'm going to use this little uh, funnel to make it easier to get the strawberries in. This is like something we used back in the day when we were canning. see how pretty this is Now this is very very hot so what I'm going to do is let it uh, just cool in the jar before I close the top and then when it's uh, room temperature I'll put it into the refrigerator but as it sits it will thicken up really nice and it's so good oh my goodness you can see how it's just this beautiful thick strawberry sauce. It's so good. <laughs> you can also put this on yogurt. I will have this on my yogurt in the morning. And uh, since I have a spoonful, I'm going to have to try it, even though I've already tried it. You don't know that, but I have tried it and it's good. Mm. It's so amazing. Okay. So I'm going to let that cool. And when it's cool, it will go in the fridge. I'll put some pictures up that you can see how it looks when it's all nice and cooled and ready to use and it's really really good this is such an easy thing that you can make it will dress up so many simple recipes that you might want to make you could even buy your cheesecake or ice cream at the store and put your own ho homemade strawberry sauce or compote on top and it would make it really special so that's what i recommend just add a homemade touch to something that is going to be the video for today i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it inspires you to try out making your own strawberry compote i highly recommend it and um yeah that's all i got go get some strawberries and I'll see you in the next video.